AEK Athens FC Wikipedia article audio AEK Football Club T S S T A T P E Athletic Enosis Constantinoupe Leos Athletic Union of Constantinople also known as AEK is a Greek football club based in Nea Philadelphia, suburb of Athens, Greece. The club is commonly known in European competitions as AEK Athens FC. Established in Athens in 1924 by Greek refugees from Constantinople in the wake of the Greco-Turkish War, AEK has become one of the most popular clubs in Greece and the Greek diaspora and one of the three most successful teams in Greek football, winning 30 national titles and the only one to have won all the competitions organized by the Hellenic Football Federation. History Creation in Early Years The club has appeared several times in European competitions, in which they are the second most successful Greek football club in terms of achievements. They were the first Greek team to compete in the group stage of the UEFA Champions League in the early 90s, while to this day they are the only Greek team to have reached the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup. They have also reached the quarter-finals of the European Cup once and the quarter-finals of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup twice. The large Greek population of Constantinople not unlike those of the other Ottoman urban centers, continued its athletic traditions in the form of numerous athletic clubs. Clubs such as Enosis Tataflone and Irakles from the Tatafla district, Megas Alexandros and Ermis of Galata, and Olympias of the Apia existed to promote Hellenic athletic and cultural ideals. These were amongst a dozen Greek-backed clubs that dominated the sporting landscape of the city in the years preceding World War I. After the war, with the influx of mainly French and British soldiers to Constantinople, many of the city's clubs participated in regular competition with teams formed by the foreign troops. Taksim, Para, and Tatafla became the scene of weekly competitions in not only football, but also athletics, cycling, boxing, and tennis. Of the clubs in the city, football was dominated by Enosis Tataflone and Ermis. Ermis, one of the most popular sports clubs, was formed in 1875 by the Greek community of Para. Known as Paris since the mid-1880s, and the Greek football team when its football department was formed in 1914, it was forced to change its name to Paris Sports Club, and then Bioglusper Kolobu in 1923. Many of its athletes, and those of most other sporting clubs, fled during the population exchanges at the end of the Greco-Turkish War, and settled in Athens and Thessaloniki. In 1924, the founders of AEK a group of Constantinopolitan refugees met at the athletic shop Lux of Emilio Sionas and Constantinos Demopolis on Verenzero Street, in the center of Athens, and created AEK. Their intention was to create a club that provided athletic and cultural diversions for the thousands of predominantly Constantinopolitan and Anatolian refugees who had settled in the new suburbs of Athens. G.K., Kitsos, D.F., Eremiades, D.F., Asteris, M.F., Kshagias, M.F., Paraskivas, M.F., Demopolis, M.F., Karajanites, F.W., Baltas, F.W., Millis, F.W., Iliads, and F.W., Georgiadis. AEK played its first match against AIA's Athenon in November 1924, winning 2-0. AEK FC First Team 
AEK's football team grew rapidly in popularity during the 1920s, eclipsing the already established Athens-based refugee clubs, thanks mainly to the large pool of immigrants that were drawn to the club, the significance of the name Constantinople for many refugees and Greeks, plus, in no small part, to the political connections and wealth of several of the club's board members. Not possessing a football ground, AEK played most of its early matches at various locations around Athens, including the grounds of the Temple of Olympian Zeus and the Leophoros Alexandris Stadium. AEK's first president, Konstantinos Sponidis, a journalist and associate of the Prime Minister Eleftherios Venizelos, petitioned the government to set aside land for the establishment of a sports ground. In 1926, land in Nea Philadelphia that was originally set aside for refugee housing, was donated as a training ground for the refugees' sports activities. AEK began using the ground for training, albeit unofficially. After World War II In 1928, Panathinaikos, Olympiakos, and AEK began a dispute with the fledgling Hellenic Football Federation, decided to break away from the Athens Regional League, and formed an alliance called PAC. During the dispute, PAC organized friendly matches against each other and several continental European clubs. In 1929, though, the dispute ended and AEK, along with the other PAC clubs, entered the EPO fold once again. In 1930, the property where AEK trained was officially signed over to the club. Venizelo soon approved the plans to build what was to become AEK's home ground for the next 70 years, the Nico Skumas Stadium. The first home game, in November 1930, was an exhibition match against Olympiacos that ended in a 2-2 draw. In 1932, AEK won their first Greek Cup title, beating Aris Thessaloniki 5-3 in the final. The team boasted a number of star football players like Costas Negrepontis, Kleinis Maropoulos, Trifon Zanetis, Michalis Delavinias, Jurgos Mage Iras, and Spiros Sklavounos. New Successes, Nestorides Pape Anu Era The club's mixed success during the 1930s was highlighted by the first Greek Championship and Greek Cup in 1939. Under former player Kostas Negrepontis as coach, AEK also won the Greek Championship of 1940. European Champions Cup Quarterfinals With English coach Jack Bebe at the reins of AEK, veteran players Mauro Poulos, Zanetis, Delavinias, and Mage Iras, along with new blood Costas Poli, Jurgos Golios, and Pavlos Emanuilides, won the Greek Cup competitions of 1949 and 1950, beating Panathinaikos 2-1 and Eris 4-0. 1974-81, the great AEK of Barlos. AEK won also the Athens Regional Championship of 1950, but the playoff games for the Panhellenic title were not played, due to many players being called up for a prolonged training camp for the national team. The early 1950s saw the addition of the next generation of star footballers in Giannis Konakis, Andreas Stamatiadis, and goalkeeper Stelios Serafades. Along with Kostas Poli and Pavlos Emanuilides, AEK won the Greek Cup title again in 1956. In the final, they beat Olympiakos 2-1 at Apostolos Nikolaidis Stadium to win their fifth cup. The year 1957 saw the debut of one of the greatest forwards of the era and one of the most notable players in the club's history, Kostas Nestoridis. Having joined AEK from Panionias in 1956, 
Nestorides was forced to sit out the 1956 season because of a dispute between the two clubs over his transfer. In 1958 and 1959, he finished as top goal scorer in the league, but it wasn't enough for AEK to win any titles. On both occasions they finished second in the league behind Olympiacos. UEFA Cup Semi-Finalists With Costas Nestorides scoring goals aplenty in the early 1960s, and the timely signing of attacker Mimis Papayanu in 1962, AEK went on to win the 1962-63 championship. Known affectionately as Mimis by the AEK supporters, Pape Anu scored twice in the 1963 playoff against Panathinaikos, leveling the scores at 3-3 and giving AEK its first post-war championship on goal aggregate. Coached by Hungarian-German Gino Ksaknady, the championship team also consisted of Stelios Serafides, Miltos Papapostolou, and Andreas Stamatiadis. Youngsters like Alikos Sofianides, Stelios Skevafilakis, Jurgos Petridis, and Manolis Kanalopoulos also played a significant role in the victorious 1963 campaign. The club followed up with cup victories in 1964 and 1966. With the return of Ksake Nady to the coach's position in 1968 and with the addition of some great players like Kostas Nikolaides, Jurgos Karafeskos, Panagiotis Ventouris, Fotis Balopoulos, Spiros Pomonis, Alikos Iordanou, Nikos Stathopoulos, and Andreas Papimanouil, AEK easily won the championship of 1967-68. In the 1968-69 season AEK, with new Serbian coach Branko Stankovic, became the first Greek football club to reach the quarter-finals of the European Champions Cup, but was eliminated by the Czechoslovakian Spartak Trnava. The addition of goalkeeper Stelios Konstantinides and Apostolos Toskas reinforced the team, and allowed AEK to take its fifth championship title in 1971. AEK also won the unofficial Super Cup of 1971, beating Olympiacos 4-2 on penalty kicks after two draws. Mavros, Eleutherikis, and Ardizoglu were part of the AEK outfit that dominated the Greek league in the late 1970s. Thomas Mavros a goal machine. Lucas Barlows, a successful industrialist, took over the presidency and financial support of AEK in 1974, and with the help of coach Frantiak Fadronk built one of the finest teams in the club's history. The Barlows golden era saw some of the greatest players ever to have played for AEK, Christos Ardizoglu, Jurgos Deeds, Jurgos Skrikis, the Germans Walter Wagner and Timo Zahnleiter, Dionysus Psamis, Pantelis Nikolou, Petros Ravoyusis, Duan Bachvik, Takis Nikolaudis, Stefanos Theodorides, Christos Itziglou and Nikos Christidis. 1981-1999 Captained by Pape Anu in the 1976-1977 season, AEK reached the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup competition, the first Greek football club to do so. Beating FC Dynamo Moscow 2-0, Derby County FC 2-0 and 3-2, Red Star Belgrade 2-0, and QPR 3-0 and 7-6 on penalties. AEK were eventually eliminated by Johnny Agnelli S. Juventus. Juventus went on to win their first European title. Home shirt sponsor, Pame Stoixima, official sport clothing manufacturer, Nike, Inc., official sponsor, Cosmote, Piraeus Bank, Nova Sports. 
It was during this period that AEK signed one of Greece's finest strikers, Thomas Mavros, the all-time top goalscorer in the Greek Championship. In following years, he and Duan Bajvik formed a formidable attacking duo for AEK. Mavros was an integral part of the team that reached the UEFA Cup final in 1976, but it was his devastating form that helped AEK to win the 1977-78 Championship Cup double. The addition of former Panathinaikos stars Domazos and Eleutherikis to the AEK roster, the following year, saw the club cap off their most successful decade to date by winning the 1979 championship. Under the leadership of Lucas Barlos, the Nico Skumas Stadium was finally completed with the addition of the iconic covered stand, or Skep Osti, which eventually became home to the most fanatic of AEK supporter groups, Original 21. The next generation of star players, fresh out of AEK's academy, made their debut during this period, Stelios Manolas, Spiros Economopoulos, Vangelis Vlakis, and Lysandros Jorgamlis. Super League Greece, Winners, 1938-39, With new president Michalis Arkadis and Austrian head coach Helmut Senekowitzk, AEK won the 1983 Greek Cup, beating PAOK 2-0 in the newly built Athens Olympic Stadium. Thomas Mavros and Vangelis Vlakis were the goal scorers. The Golden Team of Bajvik, three consecutive championships. First Greek presence in the UEFA Champions League group stage. 21st Century 2002-03 UEFA Champions League unbeaten run AEK also chased the elusive championship title and it finally came in 1989. Coached by former player Duan Bajvik, AEK clinched the title after a winning a crucial match 1-0 against Olympiakos at the Athens Olympic Stadium. Takis Karagiozopoulos scored the goal that gave AEK its first championship after 10 years. AEK won also the Greek Super Cup of 1989, beating Panathinaikos on penalties after the match ended in a 1-1 draw. Greek Cup, winners, 1931-32, 1938-39, 1939-40, 1940-41. Nineteen forty nine fifty, nineteen fifty five fifty six, nineteen sixty three sixty four, nineteen sixty five sixty six, nineteen seventy seven seventy eight, nineteen eighty two eighty three, nineteen ninety five ninety six, nineteen ninety six ninety seven, nineteen ninety nine two thousand, two thousand and one zero two. 2010-11, 2015-16. After the 1989 triumphs, under Bajvik, AEK built what was to become one of the most successful teams in its history. Captained by Stelios Manolas, the team, which included Tony Savovsky, Daniel Batista, Veos Karagianis, Vasilis Dimitriadis, Jurgos Savides, Alikos Alexandris, Vasilius Tsiardas, Michalis Kazapi, Rafika Banadovic and Vasilius Borbokis dominated the Greek league through the 1990s with three successive championship titles. AEK won the only Greek League Cup ever organized in 1990. In 1994-1995, 
AEK was the first Greek football club that participated in the group stage of the UEFA Champions League after defeating Scottish champions Rangers FC. AEK was eliminated by Ajax Amsterdam and AC Milan, who made it to the final. With Michalis Trokanas as president and Duan Bajvik as coach, the club won the Greek Cup in 1996. Former player Petros Ravoussis took over the coaching position when Duan Bajvik defected to Olympiakos at the end of 1996. Ravoussis led the team to its second Super Cup in 1996, and its 11th Cup title in 1997, beating Panathinaikos in both finals. UEFA Euro 2004 Theodoros Zagorakis, Vasilius Tsiardas, Michalis Kapsis, Kostas Katsaranis, and Vasilis Lakis. By far AEK's most successful run with titles, the period also saw the club sign Temor Ketsbea and several young, talented players like Demis Nikolaides, Christos Kostas, Christos Maladenis, and Andreas Zikos. Nikolaides, in particular, an AEK fan since childhood, declined more lucrative offers from Olympiakos and Panathinaikos to sign for his beloved club. During the 1996-97 and 1997-98 seasons, AEK progressed to the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, where they were eliminated by Paris Saint-Germain and FC Lokomotiv Moscow. In 1999, ex-president Dimitris Melissonides organized a friendly match against FK Partizan in Belgrade, during the height of the NATO bombing of Serbia. As a gesture of compassion and solidarity towards the embattled Serbs, the AEK players and management staff defied the international embargo and traveled to Belgrade for the match. The game ended 1-1 when after 60 minutes thousands of Serbian football fans invaded the pitch to embrace the footballers. AEK won its 12th Cup title in 2000 under coach Giannis Pathiakakis, defeating Ionikos 3-0 in the final. The club continued its consistency in the championship of 2001 0 finishing second by goal aggregate to Olympiakos, and beating Olympiakos in the Greek Cup final. Demis Nikolaidis period Duan Bajvik returned as coach in the summer of 2002, a move that sparked open hostility towards Bajvik from a section of AEK supporters. A strong team, called Dream Team by the fans, was created with players like Kostas Katsaranis, Ilija Ivic, Dionysus Kaiades, Vasilis Borbokis, Grigorios Georgatis, Theodoros Zagorakis, Walter Centino, Michalis Kapsis, Michelle Creek, Vasilis Lakis, Vasilis Tsiardas, Yanis Okaz, Nikos Liberopoulos, and Demis Nikolaides. Under Bajvik, AEK progressed through the qualifying rounds in the 2002 UEFA Champions League by eliminating Apoel FC. Drawn in Group A with AS Roma, Real Madrid, and Racing Genk, AEK with good performances drew all their games and were knocked out of the competition. They continued to UEFA Cup, eliminating Maccabi Haifa before being knocked out by Malaga CF. Off the field, President Makis Somiatis caused many problems for AEK and with his mismanagement overcharged the club. Also, with the assistance of his bodyguards, he allegedly assaulted Captain Demis Nikolaidis and other players. 2007-2008 Championship Financial Problems and Relegation Regeneration the second Melissonides era. After the altercation, and partly due to the club's growing financial problems, 
Nicolaides was led on free transfer by mutual consent to Atletico Madrid. Unable to cope with the negativity from a large section of AEK fans, Bajvik resigned in 2004 after a match against Iracles. In 2004, Demis Nicolaides and other significant AEK followers formed a supporters club Enosis 1924 in order to motivate all AEK supporters into taking up the club's shares and governance. The project was not fully realized because, in the meantime, various businessmen decided to buy shares and invest money in the club. However, to this date, Enosis 1924's chairman is member of the AEKFC board. The same year, Nico Skuma Stadium, AEK's home stadium for over 70 years, was demolished. <laughs>